Stell, and after Stell Bailey, we have Linda Yuba. Good afternoon, Stell Bailey, Cocoa, Florida. For at least five years, South Florida sewer plants have been exporting their sewage remnants to Brevard County. An example is the Port St. John site that has over 232,000 pounds applied. It is less than four miles from the Indian River Lagoon near an elementary school, high school, and community church. The field where this is applied drains into a canal and leads to the St. John's River. Every summer we have a ban on fertilizer with nitrogen and phosphorus, nutrients that can feed harmful algae blooms, which is supposed to help the Indian River Lagoon. However, the DEP allows landowners to dump Class B waste as fertilizer. Either we really want to protect the Indian River Lagoon for from excessive nitrogen and phosphorus, or we just want it to appear as though we are protecting the lagoon. Sludge contains highly varied amount of organic chemicals, toxic metals, chemical irritants, and pathogens. There is an unknown amount of harmful toxins in these biosolids, including carcinogenic chemicals such as PFOS, in which the state of Florida does not have an enforceable health limit set. PFOS are a significant concern due to their extensive presence and persistence in the environment. PFOS exposure can cause suppressed immune function, lower vaccine effectiveness, greater risk of autoimmune diseases and cancer. PFOS present in large concentrations in sludge makes it possible for them to enter human and ecological food chains from biosolids amended soil. A 2002 study by the University of Georgia found higher reports of ill health symptoms and diseases near biosolids permitted fields. Just because there is a compliance with the regulations does not ensure protection of public health. Even though Class B biosolids require specific pathogen reduction, it is not based on the risk assessment and Class B still contains significant levels of pathogens. We are taking things that other counties ban. Brevard County is not an outhouse. Spreading sludge risks decades of expensive environmental restoration to improve the river's water quality. Dredged sludge should be tested for contaminants and for nutrient loading before being spread anywhere. Those analytical results should be made public prior to spreading. If contamination is found or the sludge possesses threat to nutrient levels in the watershed area, the sludge should be sent to an appropriate facility for treatment and disposal. Today, I ask that you support the ban on biosolids for better, to better protect our health of communities and waterways. Thank you. Thank you so much.